Hi, and welcome to another HDDR Airworks video. This time it's all about the AK hop unit from Retro Arms in the Czech Republic. When arrived in the mail, the package contained a full hop unit without C clip. A usual C clip can be ordered directly from Retro Arms, and so did I. The hopper package contained the hop unit itself the push down lever with an included knob, the adjustment lever, a small and a large o ring, two screws, and a pin and another screw for the gearbox. The hop unit is fully CNC machined which is clearly visible due to this rather square look. Being aluminum, this hop unit is strong enough but still lightweight. The install of this hop unit is fairly simple. Just take out your old hop unit and remove the barrel and bucking from this unit. You do not need to remove the knob since the lever that comes with this hop unit already contains a knob. I myself used the flat hop lever from the lever set which will be tested on August the 22nd and a small addition to this review will be posted afterwards. The large o-ring that comes with the package should be placed on the bottom of the hop chamber and a smaller below the adjustment lever. Furthermore, it is just a matter of putting in the push down lever, tie it down with a pin, then the adjustment lever can be placed on the unit like so. And fastened with two screws. Be sure not to fasten it too tight since you will not be able to move the adjustment lever. I prefer to fasten it rather strong since this will result in a hop unit that does not variate between shots due to the shock in the gearbox. After the hop-up unit is assembled, there is one thing to take into account when installing. Just like the Pro and AK hop unit, this unit will be fastened to the gearbox with a supplied screw. This screw will replace the front gearbox screw. In my case, the protruding part in the gearbox that normally houses this screw was too thick for the retro arms hop unit and it therefore had to be sanded down with the use of a Dremel to fit the hop unit. I did this modification to the gearbox, but it of course can be also be done on the hop unit itself. Although some modifications are required, the connection of the hop unit to the gearbox with a screw is something I enjoy. Since this is more consistent than the plastic block that sits in each Saima and D-Boys AK and probably others. Another advantage of the hop unit are the levers supplied and the additional push-down levers. These do not require any shimmy since they are already scented and have a tight fit. In contrary to these advantages, the hop unit also has some questionable points. One is the round hole in which the barrel unbucking should be placed. This one is relatively large, which is both an advantage as well as a disadvantage. It is fairly handy that the barrel and bucking can slide in without a hassle and thus without pinching buckings, etc. The downside, however, is that this rear will result in an air leak in the hop section of my AK. I noticed this after the install due to the fact that the FPS was rather low of what I expected. I knew my air seal inside the gearbox was top notch and thus did the Teflon tape mod on the bucking and barrel. After I had installed this, the FPS was boosted by 50 on a 0.3 Green Devil M. The hop unit furthermore has a rather unique feature. The o-ring in the bottom of the unit makes sure that when the magazine is empty or removed before, just a single or sometimes even none BBs fall down the macro, since three BBs are held in the, in the unit due to the o-ring. This feature reduces the loss in ammunition, but I still have to test if this is safe, since ammunition will stay in the chamber when you go in the safe zone of the battle airsoft battlefield. The final point to mention is about the magazine compatibility. After installation, the Saima AK with Retro Arms hub unit was still able to use Saima and D-Boys Max flawlessly. However, the LCT lockout that I have laying around could not be placed inside the macro. I can't push it further than this. This is probably due to the fact that the LCT mags are a little bit higher in the place that the BBs will leave the magazine. And this hinders the hop unit. The use of other mags has to be tested, but I do not have them laying around. This leads me to the final conclusion of this review. The Red War Arms hop unit is a great addition to your AK rifle. However, due to the required modifications and focus points, I only recommend this unit to the more experienced technician. And this wraps up this review of the Red War Arms AK hop unit. If you have any questions, be free to comment or ask the questions through one of my Facebook pages. Also be sure to check out the edition of this review about the Red War Arms hop levers that will come out next week. For HDDR Entertainment, this is Rob and see you next time. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, daar na, draaien. Kijk je in je kamer. Oké, okay. uitstappen. Stap, stap, knie. Maak voor je, draaien. Pak je maar.